this is my first quick tip and today I'm going to show you how to use a simple animation slider how to create one and where you can use it and why this is useful so basically as you can see I have a slider here and uh, as you can see when I'm moving my slider it can't go beneath the, the cube and also it can go above the other cube and it's restricted to the X position only as you can see I can't move that even if I try and uh, as you can see it's controlling the fillet radius of that uh, of uh, the test object and uh, why it's useful it's useful because you may also know that uh, cinema 4d has a function in the character manager settings cappuccino for real-time keyframing so what you can do here I'm gonna delete my keyframes for now so what you can do here is um, you can animate your your objects in real time so I'm going to start real time and going to move my object and as you can see the time goes on a, on I mean the time goes so basically it goes on the, uh, the viewport plays and that's when you can you can uh, you can animate this slider and why this is useful of course this is useful because now you have the option to use cappuccino to control animation to control user interf user data interfaces like this fillet radius which is a float slider by default I think this is a simple float but you can change this in the user interfaces so as you can see now you can animate this value so if you're if you want to use animation on music or something like that and you don't want to use or have the time to set up a sound effect or you can fake some bass drums and other things like that here so basically that's why it's useful and about how to create one I'm gonna create a new one we're gonna need four cubes this one will be the slider itself and uh, we need a right bracket a right cube we need a left cube and also we need a connector between the two cubes so this is basically it so what you want to do, I want my cube to move 1000 meters because uh, it will be good I think so basically these cubes by default are 200 centimeters long so I need I need to have 1400 centimeters so my slider cube will fit in here of course and uh, it will move 1000 meters it doesn't really matter but it's good to know how many meters it can move it makes that makes your life easier and I also need a connector cube I'm gonna divide 104 1400 by 2 that's 700 I'm gonna ch uh, change the size the Y and the Z size to 50 and the uh, X size to 100 and 1200 and uh, all of the cubes I'm gonna enable fillet radius and I'm gonna enable 5 centimeters okay subdivision doesn't really matter now I'm gonna separate this with some colors I don't need reflection for this example I think so a slider will be black I mean okay yep okay let's have our slider the white one and the other ones are black now we can group these objects we can name this container and uh, we can also get this on a layer and uh, later we can hide that layer so it doesn't need to see the container and uh, but we need to see it right now because it's not finished yet I'm going to create a null object put those objects under there I'm going to name this animation controller and uh, I'm gonna make a new expresso tag on the slider itself and uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to restrict the movement of the slider so we need two of those we need the position x y and z and also we're going to need a general object which is a constant and uh, the y and the z will be zero so we don't need to move that so uh, I will tell you later why it is, it is important and uh, also we're going to output the position X here and uh, what we want here is that we don't want our cube 
to go beneath 200 centimeters and also we don't want it to go above a 102 uh, 1200 so what we're going to do here is uh, I think you can do this with uh, with uh, with the expression uh, logic conditions and compares but uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to write a simple expresso code for that I mean a simple coffee code for that I'm gonna disable my other input I just need only one and uh, what's what we're going to do here is we're going to write a coffee code starting with the if statement and we want if input 1 is beneath 200 then it becomes to uh, the output becomes 200 and uh, what I also want is that uh, as I want my output 1 to be the input 1 this is very simple code I can open it in the editor of course to make it a little bit nicer so this is basically it this is where I'm gonna name this this is the first restric restriction and the other one will be of course about One hundred, one thousand, and two hundred. And what we need to change here is we're going to the node settings. We're gonna change this bracket. We're going to put one here, and also we're going to put one here. And uh, I hope this will work. It will restrict the movement. It it must do it. I think I didn't fuck up everything. Sorry for the language, and I did this restriction doesn't work because a variable expected okay I forgot to I forgot to check this I need output 1 so this should work for now not really okay I forgot to do it here as well they should work for now yes they are working so basically when something is going wrong in the expresso editor all of the nodes will be disabled so if you make a user interface anything doesn't really matter and uh, you're about to use it anywhere in the expresso scene so I'm going to use my data on somewhere and um, let's say you kill this here that you say you want to remove the entry and it becomes undefined so it won't work or the expresso code will be disabled because there is something undefined there good to know so if it's not working and also uh, a lot of times when you you find undefined stuff they are always they are not always connected to something so two things could happen you can delete the user interface and you you can delete the object itself so when something's not working you need to need to go here right click on the slider itself and uh, you want to remove the unused this is a very important and useful function of the express so I think but let's go back to the to the animation controller so now we restricted the movement and uh, what we're going to do here so as you can see it's restricted so it doesn't matter where I grab my skin in it will work and the other stuff we need to do another expresso code and uh, what we are doing here is we are getting the position x of my of four objects and we are going to use it on a calculate node which is a range mapper and uh, I know I know uh, it goes from 0 to 100 if I want to be honest it goes from 200 to 1200 1, but it doesn't matter because it's a scaling value of course so if you write 0 from 1000 it will be the same as 200 to 1200 in a way but of course you need to get the correct values and uh, we're going to make a test cube and we're 
going to put this in and we're going to enable the position Y settings so right now of course you can use some controllers here if you want so you can still use you can add data so you want to float a float slider for example you want it to be a meter and uh, what will happen here is that uh, you will be able to set the range mappers output upper I think this will be good for now so I restricted this to 1000 I think so what should happen now is when I'm moving my slider the cube goes as well and of course you can set this to move less or or more or anything like that so basically for cube animation of course this is not a great thing but if you're using particles or other stuff where where you are very much rely on the user interfaces then you should have an animation controller because it's not really a pain in the ass to to set up something like this basically you need to only change this node so you need to ch change the object what you, what you want to control and you need to set up the outputs for the range mapper so basically if i suddenly want my rotation to work then i'm going to say okay i want a degree output i'm going to disable this controller because it's no longer used and uh, basically this is it so from now on or cube will rotate as you can see it's still restricted somehow but okay because of the position y is linked okay now it should work as it's supposed to work as you can see so basically it's great to have an animation controller for stuff that you can't animate in the character manager cappuccino so you you might want to animate instead these values like the fillet radiuses and for a sphere or or for mograph uh, MoGraph you can animate these values based on that and other stuff so basically this is I think it is very useful so if you can do this on your own be sure to download the file and, uh, and uh, examine it so that's all I wanted to say have a nice day goodbye